Hello Canada, my name is Michel Chikwanine and I come from a country called the Democratic Republic of Congo. At the age of five, I was abducted to be a child soldier. I was drugged, I was manipulated, and I was forced to kill my best friend as a way of being involved in this army. Unfortunately, my story is not unique. And in the world today, there's 300,000 child soldiers fighting in the many conflicts that go on around the world. One of the reasons why the issue of, of child soldiers exists in the first place is because there's a lack of education. Now, the lack of education, there's a huge poverty, and with huge poverty, there's huge conflicts. Take the Democratic Republic of Congo, for example. There's been a war that has been going on in Congo since 1998, and many children have been forced to fight in these armies. And as a result, many of these children never have the opportunity to go to school. This leads to a continuation of this conflict that's been going on and is still going on to this day. Unfortunately, fear is a huge obstacle for many of the child soldiers who get an opportunity to get rehabilitated. A fear of being deported from the countries that they're relocated into because they're being judged for the things they might have done in many of the conflicts that they had no idea what they were even doing. There are many policies that exist with the United Nations and many other organizations to prevent the use of child soldiers in the world. But unfortunately, there's a lack of policies internationally to punish those who recruited the child soldiers in the very first place. Thanks, George, for giving me an opportunity to talk about an issue that's so important today. Let's continue to educate ourselves so we can put an end to the use of child soldiers around the world.